The Bombshell It was a sunny afternoon in Kansas City, and the air was filled with the sound of excited fans milling around the Arrowhead Stadium. The Chiefs were gearing up for an important game, and Travis Kelsey, the star tight end, was in his element. His mind was racing with plays, strategies, and the anticipation of another victory. But nothing could prepare him for the bombshell news that was about to drop. Travis had been dating Taylor Swift for a few months now, and things had been going wonderfully. They were often spotted together at games, charity events, and even dinner dates that sent the tabloids into a frenzy. Yet, beneath the surface of their glamorous relationship, Travis sensed a storm brewing. Taylor had been acting a little distant lately, distracted by her busy schedule and upcoming tour. As the clock ticked down to game time, Travis received a text from Taylor, asking if they could talk after the game. His heart raced, and a pit formed in his stomach. He brushed it off, focusing on the game, but the nagging feeling of dread lingered in the back of his mind. The game was intense, filled with nail-biting moments and electrifying plays. As the Chiefs scored the winning touchdown, the stadium erupted in cheers. But for Travis, the victory felt hollow. He couldn't shake off the impending conversation with Taylor. After the game, he rushed to the locker room to clean up and prepare for the call. His teammates noticed his anxious energy. You all right, man? One of them asked. Yeah, just, waiting for a call, Travis replied, forcing a smile. Finally, his phone buzzed. It was Taylor. He took a deep breath and answered, trying to sound calm. Hey, T. Hey, Trav, she replied, her voice sounding unusually serious. I have something important to tell you. Okay, what's up? Travis felt a knot tightening in his stomach. I'm, I'm going on tour soon, and it's going to be a long one. I need to focus entirely on my music right now. Wait, what? Are you saying you're going to be gone for a while? Travis could feel his heart sink. Yes, and I think it might be best if we take a break. I don't want to hold you back from your career either, you know. Silence hung heavy in the air. Travis's mind raced, and a surge of rage coursed through him. A break. Taylor, we just started this. You can't just drop this on me out of nowhere. What do you mean, take a break? I know this is sudden, but I have to put my career first. You understand, right? No, I don't understand. Travis's voice rose as his emotions boiled over. This isn't fair. We've been through so much together, and you're just throwing it all away. I'm not throwing it away. I just need to focus on my tour, Trav. It's a huge opportunity for me. Yeah, but what about us? He could feel his frustration spilling over. You've been distant for weeks, and now this. You're leaving me hanging. Travis, please. Taylor's voice cracked. I didn't want to hurt you. Then don't. He yelled, his anger echoing through the empty locker room. You don't get to just decide what's best for both of us without even discussing it. Maybe you should calm down and think about this, she said, her tone shifting. You're making it harder than it needs to be. No, I'm not going to calm down. This is important to me. He slammed his locker shut, the sound reverberating through the space. He was seething with anger, the rage coursing through him as he tried to process everything. You can't just walk away like this, Taylor. Not after everything, I'm sorry, but this is what I need, she said, her voice breaking. I hope you can understand someday. With that, the call ended. Travis stood in the locker room, his heart pounding and fists clenched. The euphoria of the game faded, replaced by a whirlwind of emotions, anger, betrayal, and heartbreak. He let out a primal scream, echoing his frustration, shaking the very walls of the stadium. The scream of truth. It was a crisp autumn afternoon in Kansas City, and the sun was beginning to dip behind the horizon, casting an orange glow across the Arrowhead Stadium. Travis Kelsey had just finished a grueling practice, adrenaline still pumping through his veins as he looked forward to the upcoming game. He was on top of the world, the Kansas City Chiefs were contenders for the Super Bowl, and his relationship with Taylor Swift was blossoming in the public eye. 
After practice, Travis headed home, where he found Taylor sitting on the couch, scrolling through her phone, a concerned expression clouding her normally bright demeanor. He could sense something was off, and his heart raced as he approached her. Hey, babe, what's up? You look like you just heard some bad news, he said, trying to lighten the mood with a grin. Taylor looked up, her blue eyes filled with a mix of worry and determination. Travis, we need to talk. The air shifted, and Travis felt a knot form in his stomach. Okay, what is it? He asked, taking a seat next to her. Taylor took a deep breath, gathering her thoughts. So, I've been working on this new album, and, there's a song on it that I wrote about us. It's really personal, but I just found out that the label wants to release it early. It's not just a love song, it's also about some of the challenges we've faced, and they think it'll be a huge hit. Travis blinked, processing what she was saying. That's great, right? Your music is always amazing. What's the problem? Taylor hesitated, clearly troubled. It's not just that. The lyrics are very raw. They mention my past relationships and some struggles I've had. I thought it was going to be a more private reflection, but now, I feel like it'll put us both under a microscope. As she spoke, Travis's expression darkened. Wait, you're telling me they want to drop this bombshell before we're ready for it. Before we've had a chance to talk about it. Taylor nodded, her gaze shifting to the floor. I know how much you value your privacy, especially with everything going on with us. I didn't expect this to happen so fast. The room felt suffocating. Travis stood up, running a hand through his hair, his frustration boiling beneath the surface. This isn't just a song, Taylor. It's our lives. I mean, can't we just enjoy what we have without the whole world dissecting it? Taylor rose, moving closer to him. I didn't ask for this either. I thought you would understand. It's my story to tell, and I need you to trust me. But trust was a fragile thing, and as Travis's temper flared, he felt his control slipping. Trust. You're about to turn our lives into a public spectacle. Do you have any idea what this means for us? With every word, the anger inside him surged like a tidal wave. The thought of the media frenzy that would erupt, the headlines that would dissect every detail, drove him to a breaking point. I can't just sit back and let this happen. I scream with rage that you didn't even consider how I would feel about this. Taylor stepped back, her eyes widening. Travis, please, I'm trying to do something meaningful here. It's a part of me that I want to share, but I also want to protect us. Can't you see that? He took a moment, his heart pounding, and he realized he was scaring her. Rage morphed into panic as he struggled to contain his emotions. I just want to protect what we have. I don't want to lose you to the chaos. Taylor softened, sensing the turmoil in him. You won't lose me. I love you, Travis. But I also need to express who I am. Can't we find a way to make this work together? Travis looked into her eyes, the anger slowly dissipating, replaced by vulnerability. I don't want to hold you back. I just need time to process this. I'm not used to feeling so exposed. They stood there, the tension slowly fading into an uneasy understanding. Let's talk about this more, L. The Kansas City Chiefs had just wrapped up a grueling game, securing a much-needed win, but something was off with their star tight end, Travis Kelsey. His smile, which usually lit up the field after a victory, was nowhere to be seen as he trudged into the locker room. His teammates shot him concerned glances, but no one said a word. Travis had been on edge for weeks, and tonight, the tension was boiling over. As he sat down on the bench, wiping sweat from his brow, his phone buzzed with a message from his girlfriend, Taylor Swift. Normally, texts from Taylor were a bright spot in his day, filled with witty comments, support, and love. But something about this one felt different. His heart raced as he opened it. Travis, we need to talk. It's important. Those four words echoed in his mind as he quickly left the locker room and found a quiet corner in the hallway. He dialed her number, pacing nervously. Taylor, what's going on? 
He asked, trying to mask the anxiety in his voice. Taylor's voice on the other end was calm but tinged with hesitation. Travis, there's something I need to tell you. I've been keeping it to myself for a while, but I can't anymore. It's about us, about our future. He stopped pacing, frozen in place. His heart sank as a million worst-case scenarios played out in his mind. Was she breaking up with him? Was this the end of their whirlwind romance that had taken the world by storm? I, I'm not sure if I can do this anymore, Travis, she said softly. The constant attention, the pressure, everything about our relationship is under a microscope. Every move we make is scrutinized. I love you, but I don't know if I can live this life. For a moment, Travis was speechless. He had grown accustomed to the limelight, even thriving in it, but hearing Taylor express doubt shook him to his core. What are you saying, Taylor? His voice was strained as he struggled to hold back the flood of emotions. I'm saying, I need space, she said quietly. I need time to figure things out. The words hit him like a freight train. Travis clenched his fist, his knuckles turning white. His pulse pounded in his ears, drowning out the faint sounds of the stadium in the background. This wasn't just any breakup. This was Taylor Swift, the woman he'd fallen hard for, the woman the entire world was obsessed with, pulling away from him when he least expected it. You need space. His voice rose, trembling with a mix of confusion and anger. After everything we've been through. After everything we've built. You just. Need space. He could feel his blood boiling. The months of smiling for cameras, pretending to be okay with the constant media frenzy, all while juggling the demands of football, it all came crashing down. His hands shook as he tried to keep his composure, but it was too late. The rage bubbled up, uncontrollable. Are you kidding me? Travis shouted, his voice echoing down the empty hallway. His scream of frustration and disbelief rattled the walls, and for a moment, even he was stunned by the intensity of his own outburst. Taylor was silent on the other end of the line, taken aback by the sudden eruption. The tension that had been simmering between them for weeks had finally exploded, and there was no going back. Travis, I, she started, but he cut her off, his voice still seething with anger. You want space. Fine, take all the space you need. But don't expect me to just sit here and wait while you decide what you want. His words were sharp, laced with bitterness, but beneath the fury, there was a deep hurt. He ended the call abruptly, slamming his phone into his locker with a loud bang. His chest heaved as he stood there, overwhelmed by a whirlwind of emotions, anger, sadness, frustration, and betrayal all mixing together in a chaotic storm.